Hey everybody, my name is Joshua Hanna with Holistic Evolution. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk about the dangers of ayahuasca. Um, about three years ago, I had a very adverse reaction uh, following an ayahuasca ceremony and um, it had a pretty disastrous effect on my health for a long time. Um, <clears throat> I actually have kind of a unique perspective because I wrote an article about my experience and I've had uh, over a hundred people write to me uh, to tell me about similar experiences and sometimes worse experiences that they've gone through. Uh, this includes um, people who've been induced into psychosis. Uh, this includes mothers of, of uh, teenagers who have had psychotic breaks and ended up hospitalized. Um, some people who have been at ceremonies where people have died. Uh, a woman who had been raped by a shaman Quite a few people to really understand that ayahuasca can actually be very dangerous. And um, from talking to so many people, I've talked to a lot of a, a lot of um, uh, maestres in the UDV, uh, people in the Santo Daime Church, uh, different uh, different people in different traditions from the Peruvian shamanism, and um, it's it's become fairly conclusive to me that ayahuasca can in fact be a harmful thing. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people who've written me have struggled with long-term health problems after ceremonies, both uh, mentally, physically, and uh, interestingly enough, neurologically. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today, is that ayahuasca, regardless of the fact that it's a plant, or two plants specifically, uh, chikruna and mariri, uh, or mariri, uh, a vine that contains a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, an MAOI, and a leaf that contains uh, DMT, right? So DMT itself is a hallucinogen. It's a tryptamine a psychedelic, uh, which once it gets into the brain, uh, causes major changes in neurochemistry and neurobiology, uh, serotonin, neurotransmission. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that, that chemically, that hallucinogen or uh, psychoactive compounds do uh, to our brain chemistry. Um, but with ayahuasca, it's kind of unique because it's not just that chemical, like if you were to take mushrooms or LSD or a different hallucinogen, uh, but there's also a very potent uh, MAOI, which allows the DMT to cross your blood brain barrier. And so what people need to understand is that this is very powerful neurobiology. The biology of our brain and nervous system is really, really what is um, affected by the chemistry of ayahuasca. And the blood-brain barrier is a very sensitive thing. So, so when you're opening the blood-brain barrier uh, by pushing an MAOI into your bloodstream, that, can, that itself can cause very serious problems. Um, MAOIs, whether they're plant-based or chemical-based, do have a toxicity. So it's very possible to overdose on ayahuasca, especially if you're very sensitive or have been doing a lot of cleansing. And uh, you can look up MAOI overdose online. Uh, but it's complicated because you're not just overdosing on an MAOI, potentially, you're at the same time flooding your brain with uh, tryptamine chemicals, uh, hallucinatory compounds. So <clears throat> there's a lot to be said for the chemistry of this substance. And, you know, I've, I've definitely spoken to people who've had many, many, many uh, positive experiences and experiences that they felt were healing, but I've paradoxically connected to and spoken to a lot of people who have suffered extreme reactions um, that have just devastated their quality of life. You know, uh, people that have gone into the ceremony uh, with some type of a problem and seeking healing, and then come out of the ceremony like, ex like in these extremely worse states than they came into the ceremony to begin with. And and that can happen. It does happen. I've you know it's happened to me. I've talked to a lot of people who has happened, and so. Um, I'm trying to be very forthright about the fact that uh, this does happen. And another problem that I see is the people that are hosting the ceremonies many times, I can't speak for everybody because I don't know, but many times they're not trained in, uh, in biochemistry, in biology, in, any, you know, in science. Uh, they're not doctors, they're not physicians, yet they're giving people a substance that affects the biology of the brain uh, and the biology of the nervous system in such a profound way that it's inevitable some people will have adverse reactions and they don't know how to deal with it. Uh, if the ceremonies are operating illegally, then uh, 
these people aren't going to want to take accountability for any adverse reactions that happen during ceremony. That's what happened to me. I couldn't even contact the people who gave me the ayahuasca that I drank and, and I couldn't, they wouldn't communicate with me. They, they didn't want to say that they had any type of responsibility. And, and this is a fairly frequent story. There are exceptions. I've heard of people that have been uh, helped that have had adverse reactions by the people that gave them the ayahuasca, but uh, it's not uncommon to, to, for people to just disassociate entirely uh, if, if you have an adverse reaction. Um, the deaths that have happened, I, I, would, I would guess theoretically, just from my understanding of neurobiology, um, that it has to do something with overdose. Um, and you definitely can overdose in ayahuasca. Unfortunately, uh, there's also some, some ideations going around that the, the more you drink, the better. That if you want to break through or have your healing, you need to push through your trauma or your darkness or you know, uh, your blocks. And, and you could be setting yourself up for overdose by pushing through. Uh, uh, the other thing uh, that I would mention is, um, you know, some people have predispositions to things that they don't know about. Uh, cognitive disorders, uh, mental disorders, biochemical disorders, neurochemical disorders. There's a lot of things that can happen when you flood your brain with a psychoactive substance as powerful as ayahuasca or any of the other hallucinogens. But something it's really important to stress that you're consuming an MAOI, and that's a big deal. The blood-brain barrier is a very sensitive aspect to our biology coming into all the metabolic processes of our brain. And ayahuasca has a very powerful effect on it, you know? So um, I, I'm just making this video to warn people, you know? Uh, if you're getting encouragement from some shaman or from some spiritual leader to come to the ceremony because you're going to have this healing um, and the ceremony costs a lot of money, I would really encourage skepticism, you know, critical thinking and discernment. It's, it's so important that you realize that what you're doing uh, could have a, a beyond profound effect on your biology and the function of your brain because that's what we're talking about here is uh, as a plant-based substance that affects the biology and the, and the chemistry of our brain, right? So you can read my article at um, holistic-evolution.com, ayahuasca, harm versus healing, uh, dispelling myth is what it's called. Um, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I would encourage you to look into other forms of healing and other forms of growth that are, that are safer as an alternative. Um, if you're desperate uh, for some type of a healing, um, you know, I, I think that it is, is not wise to throw yourself into an environment that you could be putting yourself at jeopardy, right? So um, check out the article. You can always contact me um, if you need uh, resources in healing and health. I can refer you to, um, you know, to a lot of really, uh, really positive things that are far less dangerous. There's a lot of uh, new things uh, coming into the limelight now, neurofeedback. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can work with your brain to heal it um, that, don't in that doesn't involve taking extremely powerful uh, psychoactive substances. So yeah, check out Holistic Evolution and um, yeah, blessings on your journey. Okay, thank you.